Tamara, look what I found. Do you know what it is? I don't know, Cynthia. Let's ask Aisha. That is an organism from class Cephalochordata. It is also known as a lancelet or an amphioxus. Let's go back home and do some research. We, we can't, can't wait, wait to get, get back, back and do research. research. Cephalochordata is a class in phylum Chordata, which is a part of Kingdom Animalia. It consists of the order Amphioxiforms, which includes approximately 28 known species. Because of their remarkable structure, they provide understanding of morphology and evolution of chordates. Cephalochordates exhibit all four basic characteristics of chordates, which include the hollow dorsal nerve cord, which extends from the mouth to the anus, the nodal cord, the post-anal tail, and the pharyngeal gill slit. The organisms of class Cephalochordata have a sedentary lifestyle, although they are capable of motility. Their poor fin development makes them inept swimmers, so they spend much of their time buried in the sand of marine shores. Cephalochordates have well-developed circulatory system, which does not include a central heart, but instead a series of branchial hearts. Their blood lacks hemoglobin and is colorless. It contains no cells and is thought to solely function in nutrient distribution rather than in gas exchange and transport. It has been noted that cephalochordates do not have a brain. However, the hollow nerve cord serves the same purpose. The main nerve is connected to a series of smaller nerves which functions when light is detected. Cephalochordates are filter feeders. When they are buried, their head sticks out to filter food particles from the water. When they feed, water is taken in through the mouth and it is filtered by the buccal cirri, which surround the opening of the mouth. The water is then expelled through the 200 pharyngeal gill slits, which makes their filter feeding very efficient. As this occurs, the food particles are trapped by layers of mucus lining the gill slits. Cephalochordata have blocks of muscles one after the other, partially overlapping along the body. Their body walls are divided into muscle segments called myotomes. The contraction of the myotomes create movement which is necessary for swimming. Did you know that lancelets use their body undulation while swimming? It helps them thrust forward in water. Cephalochordates are gonochoristic, meaning they are sex se their sexes are separate. While they are ready to reproduce, the male and the female cephalochordates release their sperm and egg into the water, where external fertilization occurs. From the egg hatches a small ciliated larvae that feeds on plankton until it becomes an adult, where it moves to the sea floor to begin its sedentary lifestyle. From everything that we found out through our research, it makes it look like the cephalochordates are really boring. They seem to be like any other animal on this planet. They eat, sleep, and reproduce. Hey, that's not all. These tiny little fellas have a lot more to them. Yep, they do, which means it's time for Fun Facts. Did you know that the average adult cephalochordata can grow up to 7 centimeters? It has been discovered that lancelet populations can be extremely large. They can populate as much as several thousand individuals per square meter. I mean, how cool is that? This is all for today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. For more information, visit the following websites. Created using Powtoon.